down to the second round, as you can see, the private specialist, the master of Mutai, the guy, won 101 in the battle against Gara. The winner of this match will meet through the next and legal in the semifinals. The guy has made an impact already in NCW. Can he keep that momentum going against this guy? There he is, Dan Shinobi Gara. Gara is a ACW mainstay. He has been since the very first episode of ACW XL. Gara being the very first ACW XL champion. Drafted off to the draft to ACW Liverpool. And is now looking to make his name for himself here in the draft. Gara defeating Keo on the intro before we took our two and a half year hiatus. And we're also being one of the four men, a part of that fatal four man event match at ACW Info when we come back in December. The winner of that fatal four man match for the main event on ACW Info will be done on an ACW victory for the ACW Info Championship. But right now it's not about that because Gara will have to go through the guy to claim himself as the king of the elite, the elite of ACW. Right now, Gara is going to have an uphill battle. He defeated Willow and Gara to advance from the first round to the second round. But Gara, the, the guy, no disrespect to Willow and Gara, the guy is no Willow and Gara. The guy is a more bigger, stronger, and possibly more agile fighter than Gara is. And look at this, look at the difference. There's the guy is just clearly bigger than Gara. And here we go. And Gara's not going to let that stop him. Look at that. And Sagat goes on the top rope with Gara with those attacks. Sagat has made an impact here on ACW, debuting here on the tournament, defeating uh, Joe Lagashi, a fellow Muay fighter himself. Sagat was able to put him to sleep with that sleeper hold, and that could be the very key that takes Gar out as well. But Gar, again, is not a fighter that you just, you know, typecast as an ordinary fighter. Gar will fight you until he can't fight anymore. And Sagat will learn that very quickly. That's Sagat now. Sagat. Back to the and nails it from a high angle elevated two-step. And Sagat is just so big, he's just so... And, and the fact that he's big is not the thing that is so amazing, because we've seen a lot of big people, we have brothers in this thing. But the fact that Sagat is so big, and yet so flexible at what he does, if anyone watched the Joe Gashi match, anyone will know that Sagat is a big man in his own right. But he's also flexible. He's one of the style of Muay Thai. And because of that, he's able to translate that to how his body is able to give it to his opponent. And a back body drop sends Gar down in the map. And Gar's already feeling the pain. And I don't blame him. But the guy is such he's he's the king of Muay Thai. There's a reason why people call him the king of Muay Thai. And now it's the guy. We'll work on Gar here with an Irish whip. This is the big boo. Gar stops his tracks, but a big boo does send Gar back. And look at this. Look at these uppercuts and punches that Sagat will display here. And look at those punches here. Look at this. Uppercut sends Gar all the way over the top rope. And what I would like to tell Gar is that, you know, Sagat is the master of the Tiger uppercut. And that is something that he'll have to watch out because Joe Gashi was a receiver of those uppercuts and look at that Gar rushes right back and will keep fighting like I said Gar is somebody that will fight until he can't fight anymore but Sagat reverses that attempt there look at this look at this suplex oh a German suplex but Sagat off the Gar with some high elevated stance but Gar is right back out and goodness gracious Gar is right back out and look at that spear followed by some punches oh this is going to be a great match this is actually a match I've been waiting to see since Sagat was announced to be on ACW. And Sagat's taken down by a big close on from Gara. But Sagat I rakes him. And Sagat, oh, I uppercut the ref. I don't think he wanted to do that, but it doesn't matter. Gara takes down Sagat. The cover. The cover, but the ref is down. And even if the ref was down, Sagat had his foot on the rope, so. Kind of a losing situation there. But nonetheless. Gar Irish with Sagat, clothesline. And now Gar will go on a striking offense here, taking down Sagat once again. And again, another eye rake by Sagat. What's this? Another German suplex, but it'll be Kelly for a pin. One, 
and no guard will get out of a one count. This is really a match I've been waiting to see for quite some time here on ACW. Ever since the guy was announced to be debuting here on ACW, I think the guy is a great opponent for Gara because it will bring that guard to the level where Gara was actually dominating ACW. Not just ACW itself, but the ACW company. And this will be a wake up call for Gara to reach back to those high points again. Now the guy. Now back up here a little bit. Look at what he's going for. Is he gonna rush here? Is he gonna rush here? No, oh, he's gonna not do anything of the sort. Guards are standing there. And Sagal with the backflip there. Again, Sagal is so flexible. Do not mistake Sagal as somebody who's just a big guy. He is a flexible man for his size. Now what's this? Gara now. Wait, Gara. Oh, and stopped on to Sagal. It looks, it looks like Gara's gonna... Gonna deflate the bag, so to speak, here. And he does, and he's out. Oh, that had to hurt. And now Gar's not done. He's gonna smash that leg. He's gonna smash the leg around to the steel pole here. This could work in his favor. There it goes. And Gar's not done here. Another one. The Sagat is hurting here, but Gar. Wait, Gar's trying, but Sagat's leg is too big. The Sagat's leg actually controls Gar not to do any more damage to it. Now Gara will still, oh, and Gara is just attacking the knee there, a great strategy, attacks the guy's knee because the guy does use those knees to his advantage as well, we haven't seen it so well yet, he might have mismatched, but if Gara keeps attacking the knee, he might not, and now Gara will grapple the guy here, oh, and a nice arm drag, monkey drag, more of a monkey drag than an arm drag, so then he can move off, cover, and go break. Irish rip. Take him down. What's this? Oh, and an eye rake. And once again, another uppercut. And guard here. Now, for God. Gonna use those knees to his advantage. And wait, no. A gut wrench suplex here. By the master of Muthai. The king of Muthai. The guy. The guy here is gonna look for ways to take down the fish. No beat with that sit down drop right off to the just right off to the upper body of Gara. Cover. One. Two. Gara gets his head up. Now the guy with Irish of Gara here. What's the guy planning here? The guy rushing over there and oh my goodness, a splash! A Sagat side on to Gara. Look at this, a snap man, nice big snap man, followed by a double, followed by a chicken wing submission here. We're gonna be able to get out of it. Now let's go. Now Irish with Dara. Oh, and a big boot. Or more of a big foot since he doesn't wear boots to cover. And a rope break by Gara. The Gara right now is just getting taken down here. And you really cannot blame Gar because Gara just is, Oh my goodness, another big foot round to the face of Gara. So God is just so big and Gara is just so small. It's just I, I really don't know what to call it. And now Sagat. The cover. One. Two. Now Gara will get his arm up before anything happens. Both men are grappling. The guy with the punch there. Another punch on Tagara. Another one. Wait, no. Gara reverses it. We'll control the grapple here. Stomps on the knee once again. Another great strategy. Keeping the knee right weak. So the guy doesn't have to stand so much. That's very smart. Wait a minute. Look, look at this. A half Nelson super driver by Gara right off the Sagat. The guy is down, and you would think, you would never think Gara, a guy his size, would do that to a guy. But the guy's size, but oh my goodness, a swing and neck breaker. Things up the guy again, and now Gara will go up top, and he's gonna have to at this point. Elbow drop and connect. Cover. One, two. The guy gets his arm up. A great match here on ACW. Elite tournament here. 
I suspected it's some y'all have to go with a high elevated back suplex. To recap here, to recap here, ladies and gentlemen, the first match of this round of the second round was Edward Elk versus Ryu. A great match. Ryu was able through determination and will defeat Edward Elk and will move on to the semifinals. Kankuro, also another person advancing in the second match of this round, as he defeated Choja Kamichi, and I use the word defeated very loosely because there was something very fishy in that match that just did not click with why Kankuro won, but nonetheless, Kankuro did win, he speared him, he gored his partner Choja Kamichi, and will now be meeting Ryu in the semifinals. So now we have two that are going to be officially in the match, and we have two to go. The winner of this match between Garden Sagat will meet the winner of Mugen versus Ness. Mugen versus Ness, another interesting match that we really have not seen because Ness is more of a tacking specialist than a solo artist, but nonetheless, that'll have to be uh, something Ness will have to figure out on his own in that match with Mugen. High flying technique. Of Ness going one on one against the just brutal brawler technique of Mugen. As Garden got busted open by that steel pole shot by Sagat. Now what's this? Sagat now is going to work on that army. Yeah, look at that. Garden busted open very badly. Guard just busted open here. Guard trying to reach the ropes, but no, it's of no avail. Sagat actually lets go. Now Sagat, oh, that needs to be got. Wait, 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 time to suplex, time to suplex, into a pin, one, two, three, no, and Gar kicked out. Sagat from over here, and that's time to suplex, he hit the time to suplex, but it was translated into a pin, and very luckily Gar gets out, oh my god, sleeper hole, the sleeper hole. Joe Gachi was defeated with this very same move, will Gar be another victim of the sleeper hole? Oh my goodness, is, is, is he going to tap here? Is Gar going to go sleep, sleep? And look at this, and Sagat is just strangle-holding that maneuver right onto Gar and let's go finally. And you can tell with the loss of blood and with that sleeper hold that Gar is just out of it. But look at this, Gar is still fighting back here with that snap man. But you can tell that the power, you can tell that the early offenses that Gar had is clearly gone. Now Sagat will take advantage here. Another guard goes from behind. And another half Nelson driver right off to Sagat. Very good match so far between two great wrestlers here in the ACW tournament of round two. And Gar's gonna have to look for every submission he can because right now Gar cannot meet Sagat in the striking match. There's no way he can. He's gonna have the ground him at this point. And the, and here, oh my goodness, double axe hard to handle from the top turnbuckle. Could be what he needed. This could be what Gara needed. Here's the cover. One, two, and the guy gets his head up. Now Gara Irish shrimps. The guy with the over here and a clothesline onto the guy. And now what's this? An Irish whip. And another close out onto the corner. And it looks like he's going to do it on all four corners. And a third close out onto the corner. And a knee round to the face. And the cover. One. Two. And no, Gar will interrupt that pin. Looking like he needs to do more than that. And Sagat misses the grapple. And Gar misses the attack. And Sagat will take advantage. German suplex pin. Oh, and a low break. Oh, very lucky to get that roll back. And a spear sends down Sagat with a couple of punches to follow. Now Gara is grappling with the king of Muay here. And look at this! Gara with a scoop slam onto Sagat! Where did he get this power from? That was up! No! Sagat has these uh, playing pops in there. Look at that, another uppercut. Another uppercut off to Gara. Another uppercut off to Gara. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. A second Tiger Suplex. Oh my god, this could be it. Tiger Suplex. Sends out a San Shinobi. And Sagat could be seconds away. Advance to the second round. Oh, here we go. One. Two. 
set. No, and Gara gets a shoulder up. Gara got a shoulder up. Thank goodness. But the guy is just giving Gara more punishment. Irish with the fish. No, we get another big foot. Sends him back down. You have to wonder if the guy is actually fighting Gara here or he's just going to toy with him throughout the remainder of the draft. Wait a minute. Oh, oh my goodness. Go out of nowhere. Go out of nowhere with the stair claw. Gara pulling out the stair claw here and he's holding with extra up into it and sends it to the rope. Sends it to the other side of the ring. And could this be it? Sagat kicked out of it. Sagat didn't even let Gara get the pin. He kicked out of it and Gara can't believe it. I can't believe it. I, the crowd can't believe it. And now, and now look at this. Gar's gonna try to lay some punches from the corner onto the guy here. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's no forgot. Pushes Gar off of him. Wow, what a match. Already passing 15 minutes here. Gar takes down the guy. Poke to the eye. Sends Gar into the blizzard here. And that's the guy right behind Gar here. A back to the snow, Gar reverses it. Now Gar's on the attack here, and he's gonna have to be now. That's. Oh no, a headlock takedown actually. Not a snapmare. Oh, and a low blow! On the Gar, and this will be the third time of Street Fight on this match! And I have no idea. Oh, and it's over. It's over. This is it. It's over. A low blow on a Tiger Suplex. It's no. Sagat didn't cover. Sagat did not cover. Gara. That, that could have been it. Gara got low blow and Tiger Suplex for the third time. That would have been game set match. And I'm not talking about real matches. And I'm talking about the match ending. And Sagat with a knee to the face of the Gara, and Gara just stays back down to the corner. Oh my goodness, this this is very bad for Gara. This, oh my, oh my God, this is Gara's losing a lot of blood and a lot of a lot of strength right now because this is I I don't know. I I, I don't see how Gara can win this match now. He's he's fighting back, but Sagat still has a lot of strength. But another low blow and a tiger uppercut. Oh my God! Oh my God! He, oh no, it's a Tiger Destruction! Tiger Destruction! Oh, it, oh, it's a wrap. It's over. One, two, three, and that is it. The sequence of a low blow, a Tiger uppercut, and a Tiger Destruction was game set match for Gara. And because of that, the God will advance to the semi-finals of this tournament. And the winner, of National Liga will meet him at the semi-finals. We have three down and one more to go. Will Nesta Mugen capture the fourth and final spot in the semi-finals? Find out. I'll talk to you, Jonathan. Stay cool. Stay cool.